Hi, my name is Todd Mace. I'm the CEO of Dynamics Energy Services. Dynamics Energy Services, we specialize in optimizing the operation and energy efficiency of HVAC systems and various different kinds of facilities. Today we're going to talk about how to optimize your boiler and some common mistakes we see in setting up the boiler control. So let's go take a look at it. Today we're going to talk about specifically a hot water boiler. If you're experiencing problems like short cycling of the burner, you can't maintain hot water temperature, or even excessive gas consumption, a good place to start are three simple controllers on the side of your boiler. While there are many other items that go into controlling the boiler, these three simple items are something you can check very easily. Those items are your operating limit, your high limit, and your burner firing control. So let's take a look at those items. These are the three simple controllers that uh, we're talking about. Unfortunately, if you happen to be new, a lot of times these controllers aren't labeled. So how do you know which one's the high limit, which one's the operating limit, and which one's the firing control? The first easy one to identify is your high limit, because it's typically a manual reset. So it'll look just like this and have a push button for a manual reset. Then the other two controllers, your, this particular one happens to be labeled, and the firing controller is an analog controller, so it's a modulating controller. It typically has a knob exposed like that with the whole full range of temperatures. And then your operating limit is another on-off control, which doesn't have an exposed knob. And that's generally how you can tell the difference if they're not labeled. The way these controllers function is your high limit is your ultimate safety, and it should be set at the highest temperature. If you notice, this particular one is set at 220 degrees. Then your next safety down is your operating limit, and it should be set just below your high limit, or whatever your operating limit is going to be. So this particular one is set at 180. And what that indicates is they don't want a water temperature to exceed 180 under normal circumstances. If this controller happens to fail and the water temperature continues to rise, if it gets to 220, then this, this manual reset controller will trip it off. So your last controller is your modulating controller, which is your firing rig. And it should be set less than your operating limit. What this controller does is control the modulating uh, percentage of your burner to accurately control the water to the set point. So in other words, this one is set at 165. So what happens is when the boiler is called to engage, the firing rate controller takes over, it tries to maintain a water temperature at 175, and if, for example, the load in the building isn't high enough, and even at minimum fire, if the water temperature continues to rise above 165, if it gets to 180, then, it, then the whole boiler will shut off. And then there's a differential inside this controller that usually is 15 degrees, so when it gets down to 165, then the, the cycle will start again. One of the common problems a lot of times people will set this firing rate controller at a higher temperature than the operating limit. And what that causes is when the boiler comes on, it tries to control at the firing rate control set point. So in other words, this is set at 180. If this was set at 200, when the boiler came on, it would try to reach 200. And before it could get to satisfy this firing rate controller with the burner at maximum fire, it'll hit up against the operating limit and the burner will shut off. So then it shuts off, it goes through a post-purge, a pre-purge, and then immediately when this resets, it thinks it wants to go to 200 again, the burner goes to full fire, and it tries to get to 200, then it hits against this and shuts off again. So it's, it's real similar to trying to control your car, the accelerator in your car, by starting the engine and slamming the gas to the floor and, and once you get, before you get to the speed that you want to get to, you shut the engine off. And then you keep your foot on the gas pedal, then you start the car. That's kind of the way it functions when it's that way. So you'll notice your boiler is short cycling. It consumes more energy because of there's excessive post-purge, pre-purge. And a lot of times you can't even satisfy your building load. Okay, so those are the three settings that we wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, there's are three simple settings that you can check yourself without calling an expert in. Uh, and if they are set wrong, we found that we've been able to save up to 20% on gas consumption if, if they're set uh, out of calibration. So 
Uh, again, hopefully it's been helpful to you today, and thanks for watching.